Marriage is an honorable estate. It's one that should not be entered into lightly, but reverently and with God's blessing. In Genesis, God tasked Adam with naming every living creature. And upon completion of that task, Adam realized that he needed a suitable helper. It was at that point that God created Eve. It came from Adam's rib, not from his head to be above him or from his feet to be below him and to be trampled upon, but from his side where she would be an equal with him, to be under his arm, to be protected and loved close to his heart. In Genesis 2, 24, it says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife, that the two may become one flesh. Emily might be the little sister, but she has always taught me some of the biggest life lessons. Things like to always be true to yourself, have fun in everything you do, dance constantly, sing anywhere and everywhere, even her rehearsal dinner. She has always been the life of the party. She lights up every room she walks into, has a personality you cannot help but gravitate towards. And while I've never admitted this to her until now, she's one of the funniest people I know. I won't ever repeat that though. <laughs> to say I am proud to be your sister is an understatement. I remember the day she told us she wanted to move to Atlanta and we tried everything to convince her to stay in Boston, but she was dead set on moving and that was that. We knew if she fell in love, the chances of her moving back home were slim. Um, well, our biggest fear ended up being our biggest blessing. Sam, the way you love my sister is all I've ever wanted for her. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for loving her. Even when she's hangry. <laughs> I am honored to be a part of your journey as a couple and continuing to create a beautiful and happy life together. When I asked Sam, when he knew Emily was the one, he said, do you want to know the moment I realized I loved her or the moment I knew she was the one? Of course, I said, give me both. But his response was, he realized he loved her when he woke up in the morning to a voicemail at 2 a.m. with her complaining about how he hasn't asked her to be his girlfriend yet. <laughs> It's crazy how something so small can make you realize that you love someone. Of course, he made it official not much longer after. He realized she was the one during a tough time in his life, when she was by his side, even when he wasn't at his best. Instead of running away, she got closer and truly was his rock. I got to watch this and can truly say Emily is and always has been Sam's everything that he could ever ask for. It is an honor to stand up here with you on such an important night. I look forward to all the future memories I get to share with you, Mr. and Mrs. Sam Houston. I, Sam. I, Sam. Take you, Emily. Take you, Emily. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Emily. I, Emily. Take you, Sam. Take you, Sam. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Sam and Emily, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and everybody here, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>
up, but I got the reach. Pop lock, now I'm off the leash. Mic drop, I ain't gotta preach. I just do what comes natural. Five star, everything I see. Live lives, no apology. Take charge, no one can compete. I just do what comes natural. Give them what they came for. This is what they came for. Do your thing.